What's up guys and thanks for joining me. Hopefully you're having an awesome weekend. This is the whiteboard breakdown for May 9th, Sunday. For the equipment today, all you need is a jump rope, dumbbell or kettlebell, or a box, bench, chair, something that you can do uh, dips on. So for our warm up for today, we have eight minutes EMOM, or shoot for 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest on each one of these. Starting off with our jump rope. We have two rounds of this. So your first round, we can do jump rope singles. You can do some left to right single leg hops just to get our lower legs primed up because we do have a lot of double unders in the workout today. Second exercise, glute hip bridge. So feet are onto the ground. And sorry to the no shoes, shoes today, we got them. Pushing to the heels, squeeze the glutes. Hips come right back down to our starting position. Just firing up our glutes. You don't have to fly through those. Just make sure we're getting good engagement and squeezing our glutes. Next one we have RDL. So we're picking up our dumbbell or kettlebell. Shoulders back nice and tight. Hinging our hips, slight bend in the knees. Just gonna do a hamstring stretch. And then stand up and squeeze the glutes. Okay, remember, 30 seconds, pace it out there. Then we have mountain climbers. So we're starting with our, our big toe. And since I don't have my shoes on, you can see my big toe. Next to my pinky finger, from here we're going to switch to the other side. My toe and uh, fingers are pointing in the same direction. So we don't want our foot all the way out to the side. While you're here, hold for a second, press that hip and chest down, and then switch sides, okay? And then going through that one more time for a full eight minutes, okay? Moving on, we have our accessory work. We're gonna be doing core Tabata. Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna switch exercises every round. So after that 10 second rest, transition to the next exercise, and we'll go through four exercises four total rounds for eight minutes. So we have the first exercise, thinking about our push-up plank position, feet are going to be wide here, and we're going to try to remove an arm. And we're going to try to do a single arm push-up plank. If 20 seconds seems like a really long time for your single arm, you can alternate. So do 10 seconds, switch to the other side. Or if a single arm is too much, just hold that with two hands. Next one is a glute bridge. So from here, we're just going to come up to the top, squeeze those glutes, and try to bring our rib cage down towards our pelvis. So our core, low back, and our abs are doing a lot of work to keep us in line, as well as our glutes, okay? After we get done with that one, then we have a single arm plank. So like on our first one, if you did the left side, now we're just switching to the right. If you were alternating, we're just going back to our alternating. Last one is flutter kicks. So flutter kicks, we're in a hollow position, so my shoulders are off the ground, low back, driving down again, bringing my rib cage to my pelvis. And now I'm going to extend my legs out into a hollow. And from here, I'm just going to go up and down from that hollow position. I'm still staying in the exact same shape. So if you want to make it a little bit harder, arms can go over the head as well. All right, accessory work done. We're moving on to our Metcon. So our Metcon for today, we have three rounds of four different exercises. So, like I mentioned earlier, we have a high volume of double unders in this one. So, 200 double unders to start off. If we don't have a jump rope, you can do a 1K row or, um, or bike. Um, or we can switch that up and we can do a run. Be about probably like 800 meter run or so. It's about four minutes of work. Uh, after that, we have our sumo deadlift high pull. You can do this with a dumbbell, kettlebell, or uh, barbell. So we're going into our sumo stance, toes slightly out, legs wide. From here, I'm going into my hinge, drive through my feet, hands come directly underneath my chin, elbows stay above the weight. You have 20 sumo deadlift high pulls. Right after our 20 sumo deadlift high pulls, we have dips. So a box, chair, anything that you can get your hands on and make sure your elbows go directly back, keeping your body nice and close to the bench. Okay, about 90 degrees, and then back to that lockout. Then we have 100 body weight squats. So trying to cruise through those at a decent pace, going 100 unbroken. So just moving through that without any reps. If you have to, maybe shoot 25, give it a quick kickoff, and then get into that next set. You have three total rounds there. When you hit time, lock it in. Have a good one, guys.